Welcome everybody to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I'm Paige, and today we're going to be doing more string art. Um, the last pattern that I showed you guys um, was the paw print um, that, like, we did the pattern of the paw print and then attached a hook to the bottom for uh, those animal lovers out there that uh, are looking for, I don't know, something spiffy for their home uh, to hang leashes and such from. But today we are going to be making something um, a little less practical, but we will be upping your string art game. So this one is a little bit uh, quirky, I guess I would say. <laughs> so if I've intrigued you, stick around because I'll explain what I'm talking about. So, as I mentioned in my last string art video, there are many ways to do string art. Um, the one we did with the paw print was having an outline and just kind of mixing the colors, like tying them in a random order, um, so as to pretty much fill the space and show said pattern. Um, this other method what that is. Something stuck to my wood. Um, but this other method is a little bit more, we, we're going to be creating a picture within the string, I guess. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So it's kind of like, um, like a dream catcher, I guess you would say. Here's one pattern that I found on Pinterest. Um, this one kind of creates a hole and the middle um, and the one we're gonna be doing today is this one and it looks kind of like a moon and I thought it looked super cool um, so yeah within this process uh, the steps I haven't or I didn't show I this is left over from the paw print piece actually um, I got it is a one by eight cut down to six inches across. Um, they did one piece that was six inches for the paw print, and this was my remaining six inches for the foot that I paid for. Um, so the first thing I did was I painted the wood all black because this shape is similar to a moon. I kind of did sort of a it's not necessarily galaxy, but sort of like the sky. I, you can't really see it. I made it subtle, but there's like hints of blue and maybe some purple underneath the paper. Um, you could paint it whatever color you wanted to. Um, shit, you could put a pour over top of this if you felt so inclined to. But then after that, I cut out my design I actually printed it out to be the exact size that I wanted, the six inches across. And luckily, this picture is nifty. Um, if you just, I don't know, search circle string art on Google or Pinterest, um, it gave me this pattern and I was just able to cut it out, print and cut it out. And I nailed, put in nails all the way around the outside. Um, I'm gonna be removing this piece of paper before we actually get started. So there's that. That's what you guys have missed so far. Not very exciting, which is why I didn't film it. <laughs> so I plan on using, I don't know, either yellow or maybe just white. I think either would pop really nicely on said black background. Maybe we'll go with white. But this is the um, box of, they call it friendship thread. I got this from Walmart um, that I purchased and it's got a shitloads of colors in here, like a couple skeins of each one. So that's pretty cool. It was only a couple of dollars. So now I have string for string art forever. <laughs> 
Um, I know some stores I've seen before like sell the skeins separately for like 50 cents or something easy. So that's always cool too if you happen to find that. So before we start stringing things, um, I wanted to explain this pattern. So let's see, this first one that I printed off of Pinterest, I liked one because it looks kind of like a dream catcher as mentioned before. And two, they numbered these for you. Um, you can find some that are already laid out. And so it just goes like, here's the number one and you follow it to, it's hard to do upside down. Where's the number two? Oh, there it is. Number two. So you go from one to two to three, then over to four to five, and you just continue around like that. And that makes it really helpful um, for the sake of string art. You're going to be using one piece of string uh, that you're continuously looping over and over again. So if you find designs like this, that's super helpful and you can avoid this next step that I had to go through. When I printed off this design, I don't, yeah, that one's blank. Um, they only gave me like the number of nails I was, I would need. Like it was just numbered zero and then one through like 35, I think was the total number. Um, which makes it very tricky for string art, as I said. Um, if you want to, like, just draw these out, I don't know, I kind of messed around with, you know, making different patterns and stuff while I was trying to figure out what the heck I was gonna do as, you know, pattern-wise. And you can draw, like with a ruler, draw like a straight line and shift it, and straight line and shift it. However, that makes for one hell of a time when you're doing string art. Um, you'd have to like tie it off every time and that that's no fun. Um, so what I did, I did the heavy work for you guys. And if you are interested in doing this particular pattern, I can post this image. But I made, ugh, there's cat hair on my picture. I made a similar outline as the one I just showed you um, for string art. And that involved uh, numbering every single one of these as I would for stringing. So like the other picture I showed you, it goes one to two to then three to four to five and so on. And this picture kind of, it's like two halves, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. One part like twists up and around, and then once you get up to the top, then you go and twist up and around the other direction. And that's what makes it like the moon shape. It's essentially two halves, but you're using the same pattern. So... Um, maybe I will put this on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me yet, please feel free to. It's also Drunk Crafts with Paige. Um, and I can post that so you guys can follow along a little bit more easily. Uh, it was one hell of a time drawing this out. I'm hoping it's not since I did all this work, I'm hoping the actual stringing part is less of a hassle. So yeah, this is what we're going to be following. And yeah, let's get on into it. The next part really isn't anything terribly difficult. I'm going to be removing the paper and yeah, we're going to, we're going to jump right into this. So all of the paper is out. 
And I think I did mention this in the last string art video that if you get little like, ooh, there's one, little tufts of paper caught in your nails, um, they can be easily removed with uh, tweezers. You can just take tweezers and gently tug at the paper. So although I'm gonna be stringing this way, once the pattern is on and it actually looks like a moon, I will be turning it this away. So, all right. Following said pattern, pull out some string from here. And my number one, let's see, this one is zero. Goodness, got it. Zoomy cat running around. So this one is number one. And ooh, as is with most string art, I'm gonna tie double on my first string and I also tie double on my last string as well. Um, and as we go, uh, some of these you use the nail like three different times. So uh, I will probably be like gently pushing down the string to make room for more loops, I guess, for more string on each of these nails. So, all right, let's give this a shot. So there's one to two. And then two to three is down here. So three to four, and I will loop up. This, if I can explain this in an easy way, um, the bottom you will be doing every single nail, or I guess on this side you'll be doing every single nail, this side you skip one. So, so this one was technically number one, if I can get closer to you guys. This one was technically number one, but we didn't string across with it. This one was number two, um, and we will string, skip this nail, and our next one will be this one. Um, it's some kind of geometric pattern um, that, yeah, requires you, this side, you'll be following along and doing every single one. And this one you'll be skipping to do every every other. And eventually, like I said, some of these you string up three times, um, but eventually it does end up creating this moon shape. So that's, <laughs> explaining this is kind of difficult, but um, that was why I created this, so it's a lot easier to follow along with. So, all right, we're gonna try to sp try to speed through the rest. halfway point um, and you can see I'm holding the string taut but you can see the like one part of the half moon shape um, going up the one side and now we're gonna start um, doing the same shape up the other side so same thing just like I said it's essentially two different halves of uh, one giant string art this 
here is, or this is the way it looked to me when I did the two different halves. And then when I turn it sideways the way I want it to, there's the moon. Try to tuck these, that little bow that I, or the knot I made. So we started on the same one that we end on. So that's nice because then you can just loop your extra string and tie another knot and cut it off. So here she is. I think it looks super cool. I'm tempted to like take some white paint and maybe like paint some stars or something around it. Or maybe it's just nice and I don't know, minimalistic this way. You could, like I said, you could do whatever you wanted to um, with the background if you wanted to make a pour on it, if you wanted to, yeah, make something a little bit more complex. But here's the shape. And I haven't quite decided yet if I want, I don't know, to try to drill like a hole in the wood to make it easier to hang or if I want to put like another sawtooth hanger on the back. It might be too late to do a sawtooth hanger since I've got all this string and nails on the front. <laughs> but I will uh, decide on something and I'll show you guys what it looks like all nice and done up. And uh, yeah, well, I'll show you what it looks like actually on a wall. Here is the end result. So like I said, I did actually end up splattering white paint on the black background to kind of make it look more like stars. And I did, I drilled a small hole in the back. Ooh, there, there we go. It looks a little janky. I don't have like the specific drill bit to make a nice flat um, gap for a nail to go. So I kind of had to monkey with it a bit, but now it sits a little bit more flush to the wall. And I think it looks really cool. It may, I don't know, the moon shape might be a little bit more obvious if you're farther back, but I like the way that it came out, that that's the pattern, the, the string art, like tying it like that happened to give. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, please like this video, comment anything, uh, subscribe to my channel, and you can hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Um, also check out my Instagram for some nice photos and other projects I do, and I hope to see you all for the next video.